hello friends welcome back again so in this video i want to try to discuss some important questions related m4 subject which is a mathematical foundations for computing probability and statistics it is for the computer science branch students as this uh, as you already know last uh, from previous year itself vtu has changed the whole syllabus for each branch so this time they have different types of uh, subject codes for this subject uh, like 21 mat cs 41 is the subject code of this subject like uh, in other branches there will be some different codes like 21 mat uh, me and like civil uh, 41 but uh, in the 18 scheme it was similar for uh, each branch okay so syllabus were uh, syllabus was same for each branch over there okay so before proceeding my dear friends let me tell you this uh, mathematics 4 is simpler from uh, m1 m2 and m3 if we consider them so this one is the easier one to pass over there if you want to pass this subject uh, not only pass you can score um, uh, with these uh, with this particular content that is the important questions regarding this particular subject so without wasting any time let me start my dear friends first of all module 3 which is the passing module which you have to cover over there it is a, it is the simple module that is stat uh, statistical methods it is also called the curve fitting will be over there <clears throat> so first of all you have to focus on the problems on rank of correlation okay uh, problems on the rank correlation quotient and all, uh, also lines of uh, regression and uh, there are three types three varieties of problems which will be definitely over there suppose first one is fit a parabola y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c for the data will be given like x is equal to 1.0 y is equal to 1.1 uh, 1.5 suppose 1.3 it will be data will be given you have to fit a parabola curve over there that is y is equal to ax ax square plus bx plus c and next one is the uh, fit a best curve in the form of uh, y is equal to ax raised power b for the following data same this data will be given over here so you have to fit a best curve in the form of y is equal to a power uh, ax raised power b then fit a straight line of the form y is equal to ax plus b uh, to the following data same the data will be given you have to fit a straight line okay so there are the three possibilities that is one is the straight line fit a straight line of the form and uh, second one is the fit a best fitting curve in the form of y is equal to a, ax raised power b so uh, also y is equal to ax raised power ax square plus bx plus c so these three possibilities are there these will be the definite questions over there so you have to focus on these concepts so this much content is enough to cover the module third my dear friends so next one is also the passing module which is the module four you have to go through the this particular module that is probability distribution so in this you have to solve some problems on random variables suppose i have taken here the example uh, it will question will be like that a random variable x has the following probability function so function will be given x y minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 0 0.1 k 0 0.2 k 0 0.3 k so you have to find out this uh, this value that is k value and also you have to find out the mean and variance they will ask like that okay so this is uh, these are uh, this is the first variety of question in the module fourth uh, that is the probability distribution over there okay so also in the next that is problems on binomial and poissons and normal distribution okay so you have to uh, solve some problems on this uh, particular that is binomial and poissons and normal distributions and two derivations are there uh, according to the syllabus uh, so one will be definite over there that is find the mean and standard deviation for binomial and poissons distribution right so this is uh, the enough content in the module 4 also my dear friends go through if you are convenient with this module so go through fully in it take a dive in it so make possible 20 marks with ease over there okay so this is also a passing module you cannot leave anything from this particular module then module fifth this is also same the passing module which is the joint probability distribution uh, so first of all uh, first question will be like that the joint probability distribution of two random variables that is x and y is as follows like this box will be given over there this data will be given uh, x and y minus 4 2 7 i have taken here example so you have to find out the expectation of x expectation of y and expectation of xy and uh, standard deviation you have to calculate over there that is sigma x and sigma y and also uh, find out the covariance of x comma 
why you are there so this is the first variety of question which will be definitely asked uh, from this particular module fifth and it carries uh, seven marks and sometimes six marks will be there so these six marks are just in your pocket and also if you want to cover some theory concepts uh, which is in the or part actually so that is the explain the terms uh, null hypothesis confidence intervals type uh, one and type two errors were there and uh, also you have to focus on the test uh, test type questions that is test the level of hypothesis that uh, the coin is unbiased and at 5% level of significance this is uh, I have taken here the example okay so this is the test the level of you have to uh, check out the level of the hypothesis that the coin is unbiased okay at 5% uh, uh, level of significance or they can change the values only over there so uh, instead of 5 they will give sometimes 4 or 2 or 3 like that okay so these are are the concepts which you have to cover in the module fifth over there so you refer just the az notes of the 18th scheme uh, to know these type of concepts which are very simpler ones you can easily cover 20 marks also in this module fifth my dear friend so these are the three modules which you have to focus more than uh, other two modules that is uh, which are the new uh, they have inserted uh, in the computer science uh, department computer science branch they have added some branch uh, sorry modules over there that is relations functions and graph theory the, this is uh, purely based on the 12th class concept that is pu concept okay relations uh, you may already ac uh, come across from these type of topics over there so this is the lengthy module if you are convenient so go through uh, this uh, particular module at least try model question paper okay full model question paper so but there are concepts like plan and one one to one on two functions function composition and inverse function as you may already come across in the pu my dear friends right so you just refer module question paper try some uh, six to seven problems from two module question papers so that it will be easy to cover model two with ease over there also module first my dear friends these are the fundamental of logics which is also uh, what we call as the topics of the electronic subject over there you may already come across in 12th also that is basic con connect uh, connectives and truth tables uh, logical equivalences uh, there are some the lo laws of logic and logical implication impl uh, uh, rules of inference over there this is the uh, according to the syllabus my dear friends module first I cannot predict uh, the most important questions from this particular module as you are the first batch writing this particular subject okay so I don't want to put uh, the students or keep students in the deception. So my motto is to just give some important information to the students uh, so that they can easily pass these uh, particular subjects in which most of the students are facing difficulties and they are struggling with these subjects as they, al they are already weak in the derivative and int uh, integrative part. And sometimes uh, most of the students are the math phobic. Okay they are just <clears throat> they have phobia of the maths over there and as i have seen a lot of students in the vtu journey so uh, next one is the use of quantifiers quantifiers definitions and the uh, proofs of some theorems over there so you just go through model question paper so that you will accordingly solve some problems uh, so that they will definitely come in the examination so i hope this much content is enough to pass the subject not only pass but score 75 to 80 marks with this type of content so thanks for watching my video dear friends.